during Pemplot Fest, there was uh, an open session about the uh, about Pemplot's uh, roadmap uh, to get some feedback, but also to, to share some ideas. And a lot of people uh, told us this should be something like to make public. So this is why we are recording this video, so you can enjoy the, the main takeaways. And we also will be sharing a bit of the 1.19 release. In terms of product at Pempot, we have like three main uh, focus areas. Where are we putting our efforts? Parity feature, it's about what is expected in a tool like Pempot. You are expected to draw rectangles, use colors, interactions, things that are really important, but uh, not necessarily different for your competitors. For us, this differentiation is about open source, uh, allows uh, Pempot users and, and Pempot teams that are using Pempot to be in total control. Open standards, ownership on your files, and a different way to collaborate between designers and developers. And community is not only about uh, having user growth, uh, which is something that we we also want, but to have an, an engaged community uh, with a, with our product because we believe that Temple should be not only a product but also a community and an ecosystem, as some some others say, and. And we believe that this relationship with the community is going to help us to, to shape uh, how Pempot is and how Pempot works and what Pempot can, can achieve. What of these three focus areas are more important for us now? I will highlight differentiation and community. And we have this sort of hypothesis, which is that the kind of differentiation that we are building now is going to attract some sort of community that will compensate for any parity feature that we feel that we're lacking. This is a, a high level roadmap. The low level one with all the details, it's, uh, it's published. You can see that this differentiation area yeah, uh, has a lot of weight. This is something that makes us very happy because we really believe that we are building something special. We are building something for the community and with the community. And we are doing a total rethink of our component system. This new component system will give better synchronization and we will give uh, more control for the design system managers and for anyone which is uh, who is working with components. After that, we will go uh, for something that is highly requested, which is component states and component variants and the ability to swap between components. Another thing that we're doing right now it's, re it's redesigning our interface. The current interface was designed like uh, three years ago. Pempot now is much more complex and we feel that we need an interface that can deal with this complexity. And also, we are redesigning something in terms that uh, color contrast, keyboard navigation, and alternative text and other best practices in terms of accessibility. And we are doing this also because we think this new interface is gonna be beautiful because we, we truly believe that open source doesn't need to be ugly. And business, right? <laughs> People is laughing. Okay, grid layout. We think that this feature is going to reduce the, the gap between how you design and how you develop. Developers and designers at Tempo through grid layout are going to work with the same restrictions with the same capabilities and with the same literacy, with the same language as, as well. Plugins. We have a plan uh, with, which consists in four steps. We are like in the third step. Um, sooner, better than later, we will release our front-end plugins. So contributors will be able to extend Pempot capabilities without the need of learning closure. Another of the highlights at the Pempot Fest, uh, we have this partnership with the Tokens Studio guys. This is going to be huge. For, for Pempot because not only because of the capabilities that it's going to bring to Pempot, this complex management of design decision at a scale, but also because the proposal from Token Studio is extremely aligned with the Pempot proposal. They are talking about open sourcing this, and they are talking about an open standard language for managing design decisions that will directly be connected to their code part. It couldn't be better aligned with the Pempot proposal. In this year, we cannot talk about the product roadmap without talking about artificial intelligence. We have these five challenges uh, that uh, could be at some point five different 
features, capabilities, whatever you name it, in Penpot. Uh, we have them tagged uh, for in terms of feasibility, technological readiness, but their potential risk, and complexity. The great thing here is that we are sharing them with the community. And this is very important for us too, because uh, we try to demonstrate as well that this artificial intelligence thing can be done in a different way. You can be open with that, which you can be transparent. If you are interested in understanding these challenges, uh, the state of the art, uh, all the different uh, details uh, around those, please go check uh, the GitHub repo at Penpot. So that's github.com slash Penpot. And uh, we will keep updating those. And actually we are going to pick UX to documentation generator and the um, a bit of the design copilot uh, already to start working on them. So we will have like bandwidth for, for those in the near future. The session that we planned was like half of the time. It was Andy sharing the plans and the futures of Penpot, but also we want to have this conversation with the community and we want to uh, hear them. But I guess my four main takeaways from this session, uh, the first one's a bit obvious, offline meetings are important and making the whole community, not only Penpot community, but the whole open source design community together in the same and talk about how a open source tool like Penpot, but in other cases also, how they can uh, contribute to society and contribute to open source. So uh, it's clear that we need this type of interaction and the community value this type of interactions. The second highlight is the ecosystem. So Penpot has a like, clear to be a toolkit for any development company, but uh, we also can be a really key player on this larger ecosystem of open source tools. So Penpot is bigger is an ecosystem inside this uh, this area. And yeah, people were mentioning integrations with Blender, with Starbook, with GitLab, and many, many more. So it's true that the community wants to be this in, inside this ecosystem that all the open source tools, they talk to each other. And my third highlight would be web standards. Uh, Penpot use all the standards that are already there. But we should not be only looking for using them, but we can also influence them and develop them then for the better future and better uh, use of the the design tools and all the projects you can do. Uh, one of the examples that uh, they were mentioned was like SVG specification and promoting best practice in the CVG use. And the fourth one and last one was that the committee really get us. They were understanding our vision, they were making the right questions, they were making the right comments. And it's really nice to see how it comes together uh, when we like are together in this incredible journey. That was a reflection on the, all the questions we get about the plugin systems, when we're going to have plugin systems, when we have this or that integration. So people are excited uh, and they are having this uh, level of commitment uh, that amazes me. Really, thank you. thanks for those takeaways. And it was true. I mean, this was titled, um, you shaped the future of Penpot. And I think it, it was a very honest and genuine uh, statement. Like, that, that, yeah, absolutely, you are doing that. And there are many ways. It's not just code contributions or design contributions. It's uh, having the right conversations, you know, asking the right questions. Great. So now the uh, reality is that we have this uh, 1.19 release. How does 1.19 release play a role uh, within that context of the roadmap and everything, you know? When I shared the roadmap, um, I talk about our big initiatives and I think we, we all can say that those initiatives are like highly complex, very ambitious one. And those initiatives are taking us time. Some of them are almost finished, like the grid layout of, or the components version two system. But in the meantime, we didn't stop. We intend to launch a release, which is not going to be a flashy release. It's not, not going to be packed with um, larger functionalities, but it's going to be instrumental. It's going to be a necessary step. We are going to release some, some small functionalities, for instance, the access tokens, which is one step to get to the plugin system, which is going to be a door for creativity. We hope so. I'm not going to get deep into them, but I'm going to talk also about performance and stability, which is going to be improved. So if after this release, you feel that Penpot is like going a bit smoother, well, it might be because of this release. This release has the most 
community contributions by far that we ever had in any other release. And this made me like extremely happy. So yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you community. Because yeah, it's awesome. For us, this proves the growing interest and the growing commitment of the community with uh, our mission. We have an, other, other type of contributions, not only code contributions, and among them, I'd like to highlight the contributions, uh, five contributions, people that share their words at Penpon. So, and among them, this time we're gonna publish the an accessibility template made by Stephanie Walter. This accessibility template uh, is gonna include guidelines and assets to document your designs focusing on accessibility. So we hope it's gonna be for the good as well, for the good of the designs and the, the type of designs we, that we, we are all producing. And we cannot uh, forget that this was a community power release. This is like uh, most important for us than, you know, keeping releasing features. Because like I said before, we're building a community. Not only. Yes, it's amazing when we see the contributions uh, getting up. So we invite everybody who wants to do some kind of contributions for us. We have uh, guides on how to do it. And also we have some community posts on what you could do. If you are a developer, you have like some easy issues to restart to uh, uh, help us. If you're a designer, you can be a template or even uh, translating for your own language. So we have many ways to start to contribute for Penpot too. Wonderful. Well, okay. I think we covered uh, um, everything uh, we wanted to cover. We wanted to uh, discuss a bit the roadmap. We wanted to discuss uh, the open sessions, key takeaways. We also wanted to um, discuss 1.19 release and this kind of community power release that uh, we're really so excited about. So thank you very much, Carol. Thank you very much, Andy. Uh, see you. Uh, see you later. <laughs> and uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, and you know, I hope you know. We all hope that you you're also as excited as us uh, in terms of the vision, what we're building, and the community involvement. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.